Hey Floss Tube, this is Amy. Hope you guys are having a great stitching week. I'm so excited to be able to see you again, spend some time with you, and to update you on my world of cross stitch. So for those of you that are new, thank you for tuning in and seeing what we're all about. For those of you that have been with me before, thank you for coming back. This channel is all about cross stitch. It's funny how something so little can be so consuming. And I have been stitching a lot lately and want to share with you my progress. I am so excited that I have a fully finished, is it FFO? Fully finished object today. And it's something that I worked on and actually finished quite a while ago, but did a finish today. So I want to show you that. I also want to show you what I have in um, progress as well. So I've had a great week. We've been um, all consumed still with Puppy. Um, she will be three months old. She is three months old today. Oh my goodness, it happened so fast. She's three months old. And she is two pounds, 15 ounces. So she is almost three pounds. She's so much fun. The um, big dogs are just putting up with all of her antics. They are being so calm and so patient with her. And she definitely rules the roost. I don't think she understands that they could um, eat her in a, min a minute if they <laughs> if they chose to. So I'll try to insert a picture of her with Zoomer, my golden doodle. He was 90 plus pounds. And when I left them a while ago, she was sleeping on his back and I grabbed a quick picture. So I've got that to share with you. It's a beautiful day here. It's sunny. The wind's not blowing. And the dogs are enjoying some outside time while I film. So lots of fun, lots of fun. Um, what I've been working on. My Nantucket Village from By the Bay is coming along. It's wrinkled. It's been left on a lot. So getting close to, um, I say close to a finish, I still have quite a bit of the upper part to do, and I do need to order my week's moss color for my droopy tree. So for those of you that use your specialty flosses, I uh, participate in the Victorian Motto Floss of the Month Club. I did the primitive colors, now I'm doing the limited colors, which are a little brighter, it, I think, is Kind of the differentiation between those two. I ordered or I bought a few of the specialty flosses from my very first chalk on the farm, the Autumn Acres farm with all the pumpkins and scarecrows and I I think some of those were weeks and some were classic color works, maybe more classic color works. I need to order, I know the weeks for this um, pattern because it specifically calls for it while everything else is DMC so I definitely want to stay true to that because the tree is a big going to be a big part of the pattern but for those of you that use weeks and or classic color works I know Priscilla and Chelsea have the classic color works that they really like and they have the bundles of the fat quarter shop I was wondering if you guys could help me know which is more variegated or is it pretty much the same between the two companies? If I'm gonna spend the money, I want to see the variegation, I think. Um, otherwise, DMC, even that solid color, I can get that in a DMC. So let me know what your favorite is between Weeks and Classic Color Works, or if you just use a combination of both. I know a lot of the patterns use both, and that's a-okay. I can definitely do that. But that's my Nantucket Village. Another one is my Autumn Quakers, and I have not been able to put this one down by Rosewood Manor. I'm using Victorian Motto sampler threads on this instead of the Baldani. My colors are not exactly matching the illustration. Um, one of the specific colors that I've really seen a difference in, this looks like an emerald green, and I chose the color Aster 
which when I looked at the Bell Bunny thread pack, I don't know if I was just way off. I like the way it looks because there's a pine color that I'm using in a different area. So this is pages mainly five and six. I started in the middle in this one. So it's five, six, and then up here starts page two. So I'm just kind of started in the middle on this doubloon fabric since I've started over so many times. I thought I would try it that way. So mine's gonna look different from others and I think that's the beauty of cross stitch and the beauty of being able to substitute floss colors. I know back when I stitched in the 80s and early 90s, we basically just had DMC and I never thought about deviating from what the pattern called for. Never once occurred to me that I could change it up. So I love it. I love the colors that I'm using for this. So that's my Autumn Quakers. And like I said, I can't put it down. I just keep going on it. So very pretty. My One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Slowly but surely, those of you who that have been those of you who have been with me know I've been slugging it out on the corner, getting these little patterns, these little motifs done. It takes forever. The rest of it is not quite finished. I still have some work to do on the edges. But the state's names are complete. This is going to be so super pretty. I think I might finish this for my dad for Christmas. I think he would like that. I think it would be pretty in his office. So my plan is to do one of these a day, at least, <laughs> before I can do anything else. That's my One Nation. My new start that I did this week, Cinnamon Stars. This calls for General Arts and the Week Style Works. And I am doing DMC and Victorian Model. So what I did is I pulled all the DMC because the conversion chart is on there on the pattern, which is so nice when designers do that. I appreciate that. And then I took the color and I went through my Victorian motto. And if I had one that was very close, I'm going to use that instead. I left the DMC in the baggies to help me when I'm going through the pattern. That way I'm not having to write all the other colors. There's another example. There's my DMC. There's my Victorian motto. I think for me, that's going to be a good system And for others, that there's not really a substitution that I had, I'm just leaving the DMC in the bag. So it's going to be very big. I didn't picture it being this big. So I was glad that I had my big piece of fabric. This is a 28 count mushroom Lugana. I ordered a bunch of fabrics just to see what I would like to stitch on since this was pretty new to me using other things besides Ada. I've since decided that 32 count is my sweet spot, but I'm not going to waste my 28 count that I ordered. So Mushroom Lugana, I stitched um, one of my holiday pieces on this. This is like stitching heaven. It's so easy to stitch on. It's easy to see. It's the right way. It's not too soft. It's not too stiff. I definitely like the Mushroom Lugana. Next time I think I will do the 32 count instead of 28, but I think that's coming along nicely. So that's my Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. Now for my fully finished. Back right around Christmas time last year, I got the Waxing Moon Design Search the Sky. 
I love the sentiment of it. May you never be too grown up to search the sky on Christmas Eve. I don't have a lot of Santa things that I put out for Christmas. I do have a, um, what is that, Village, is it 56, Village 56? Um, a little North Pole house that my dad got me for Christmas several years ago that I love. And I put that out at Christmas. Otherwise, I don't have a lot of Santa things. But I love this pattern. I thought it was so super sweet. And I finished it today. Ta-da! So this was a um, Christmas sign that I got at Joann's at the end of season last year. It was a gingerbread cookies sign. It was cute. I've noticed that this year they're putting out a lot of the same things they had last year. I don't know, I haven't specifically seen this one, but they may still have this one. It was a cute sign, but um, one day we um, were able to hit the 90% off Joann's sale and I bought a lot of things with finishing in mind. So what I did on this one, I used a piece of sticky board, but I also laced it. So sticky board plus the, the lace is what I did on this one. The actual board, it had a green edging around the design, which would have been fine, but I thought that I liked the ribbon better. So this is fabric that I tore into two inch strips. I got the needle and thread and gathered it up. And then what I did this time, instead of attaching it to my stitching, I actually attached it to the board all the way around. After I attached it to the board, then I put the washer on the back of the stitched piece. I put the magnet on the actual frame and the magnet's a little bit thicker and with the fabric ribbon being a bit thicker, it makes it more three-dimensional. Kind of sticks out a little bit and I like it. And if I wanted to switch it out, I could. I just didn't want glue on my stitching piece. I've, I've glued others, most definitely, but I thought I'd try and see if I could do it this time without. I did change some colors. I made the writing red instead of gold. And I used, um, I used DMC. I may have used a few of Victorian Motto's colors on there, but I think that may have been before I got her Christmas color pack. I thought it turned out so very cute. This little frame is nice. It's nice and bright. It has a cute little hanger. And that's my finish. So I really want to decorate for Christmas right now. I know, it's crazy. I pulled all of my Christmas stuff out of the attic simply because Hobby Lobby was putting their stuff out and I was tempted. I thought, no, I bought a lot of stuff after Christmas last year when it was on clearance. I wasn't sure how much I bought and I bought a lot. So instead of going out and buying new things, I have new things that I haven't used yet that have just been sitting in my attic for a year. So I pulled all that down I actually put my little Christmas tree up. We used to always have big, huge Christmas trees. And a couple of years ago, I bought one of those little pencil trees, um, seven feet tall, but it's only like a foot and a half in diameter at the biggest part, part of it. And I made a Thanksgiving tree. So I will um, see if I can figure out how to insert a picture here for you to see that as well. And I did that last year for the first time and it was really cute. That way I could have my tree up but I put my Thanksgiving decorations on there, the little Thanksgiving picks and pumpkins. And then when it was time for Christmas decorating, I was all ready to go. So that was kind of what I've been working on today, putting up the Thanksgiving tree. You guys are so sweet. The comments that you have um, put on after my videos have just been super sweet. I love hearing from each one of you. I read each one of them. I respond to each one of them. And I so appreciate you taking the time to let me know that you came to see me. I love spending time with you. I love that we can connect. I love our community that we have here on Floss Tube. 
and it just makes my day just to be a part of this community. Uh, the quote that I have this week for you guys is, life is a series of thousands of tiny miracles. Notice them. And I'm not sure who said that, but I love that thought. Being thankful, being appreciative of each little thing. My mornings start every morning with my grandson. He comes before he goes to kindergarten. He gets dropped off at my house. We spend some time together in the mornings and then I get to take him to school. And that's one of the most special ways to start my day. And he always makes me notice the little things. What's important. Stop and think. So thank you so much. If you like spending time with me, if you would mind, wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be awesome. I have a giveaway planned. I guess my next, my, my big number I'm trying to hit is 500. So I do have a giveaway that I'm planning for that. And if you have any comments or questions, I would love to read them. And if you like this video, let me know. Thanks so much. See you guys next time. Bye y'all.